Mr. Turner here, um, giving you an idea for a science experiment that you could try and replicate at home. Uh, so what we're going to try and do today is we are going to try and create a rainbow using some equipment that hopefully you'll have around the house. I'm sure you know that rainbows only tend to happen on rainy days. The sun's light shines through the raindrops and is split into the lovely colours and that's th that we see in the rainbow and that's how we get a rainbow. Um, and you actually can try recreating this for yourself at home. These are the, the kind of things that you will need. The first thing you're going to need is some water. Rain of course is water so we'll definitely need to have water involved in our experiment. Second of all you're going to need a container to act as what's what's called your prism. Those of you who've been learning about 3D shapes, you will know what a prism is. Um, have a look for some plastic or hopefully even a glass container. Obviously, if you're using a glass, just double check with a grown up that they know you're using it. Um, this kind of plastic box, although it's quite good in that you can see a little bit through it, if I put it in front of my face, it's quite difficult to see me through it. And in the same way that the light, won't go through this box very nicely. So you really, what you really need to find is a container, maybe a bit like this um, bottle with olive oil in that's a totally transparent type of plastic. Obviously wait until it's finished and nice and cleaned out. And of course, the other thing you might have lying around in your house is you might have a drinking glass. Again, just make sure you're careful with it. You need somewhere nice and flat to do this. Now, you can, if you have a nice sunny windowsill, simply fill up your container, not to right to the top, but with some water, and then put your container on your windowsill. And if you turn it right, you might need to experiment a little bit with this, because you obviously are doing an experiment. If you turn it right, there hopefully will be a point where you can see a rainbow. Ooh, there we go. Now you can't see this, but look, I've just put my hand in my and I'm just getting a rainbow forming on this side of my prism. You will have to try a few different containers. You might have to try putting it in a few different places. It really helps if the room that you're doing it in only has the sun coming through one window. If you've got the sun coming through two windows, it's a bit more difficult to see. If you're really unlucky and it's a cloudy day, you can still do the experiment. But what you will need is you'll need a torch and you'll also need to make the room dark. So I'm gonna show you that now. So. Wind the blinds down so the room is as dark as I can make it. There we go, that's a bit better. And I try the same thing again. So here we go, I've got a square container this time. And all I do is I get my torch, don't shine it in your eyes, and I switch it on, and then I shine the light through the water in my, oh there we go and you move the light around your prism until you can see a rainbow forming it'll be very difficult for you to see on the film but trust me there is a beautiful rainbow of light just where i'm pointing my finger perhaps you can see it there we go now what you will need to do is experiment a little bit with different shapes of container. Now this particular container as you can see is a cuboid. We've got lovely edges and lovely flat sides. Here, those of you who know, we've got a triangular prism. It doesn't work so well if you try a shape that's round. 
like this glass. The glass has got circles top and bottom and it's a lot more difficult to get any kind of rainbow shining through that. So you'll need to choose your container really carefully. Make sure it is something that has got some flat sides and hopefully some corners as well. And make sure, as I said to you, it's that nice, really crystal clear, transparent plastic. Or if you can get it and a grown up says you can use it, a glass. Uh, good luck, happy rainbow making. Remember to write down some observations that you make. Write down what order you're seeing the colours in from left to right or from top to bottom. Does it make a difference if you shine the light through the side or through the corner of your container? How easy to see is the rainbow if the room is bright? How dark can you make the room? The darker you can make the room, the better the rainbow will turn out. Well, I hope you have some fun with that. I'd really like to see some films or maybe you could do a PowerPoint or just a poster writing up how to create a water prism at home. And I hope you enjoy doing that. Good luck everyone.